Hey Busy Bees, welcome back to our Wednesday weeknight meal series. Today I'm partnering with the National Pork Board to bring you a super popular Vietnamese dish. We're gonna be making the Vietnamese grilled pork, AKA thịt nữ. There's lemongrass, fish sauce, shallots, so many exotic and delicious flavors that'll really make this an incredible dinner. Go ahead and give this video a like if you love Vietnamese food and don't forget to subscribe for more Wednesday weeknight meal videos. We'll go ahead and get started with our marinade. So I'm gonna marinate this in a flat dish to make sure that the pork lays perfectly. First, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of granulated sugar along with two tablespoons of fish sauce. I'm just mixing everything directly into our marinating dish. Cut down the amount of dishes you have to clean. And then two tablespoons of thick soy sauce. Now, you don't often find thick soy sauce at a regular supermarket. Um, the reason why I'm using this is because it has a lot of depth and caramelization already in there. It's this one right here, and it's different than regular soy sauce because there's molasses in it. If you can't find this at your Asian market, just do like one teaspoon of molasses with a tablespoon of soy sauce. That ratio works. Perfect. It also has such a nice smokiness that'll add so much flavor to our pork. And then we have an eighth of a teaspoon of sesame oil. And then with my mini whisk, I'll just mix, mix, mix. So since our marinade is kind of thick right now, see, you can see it's not really moving much. I'm just gonna drizzle in about a tablespoon of oil to help it move. And now we'll add our aromatics, two tablespoons of finely minced lemongrass, and two tablespoons of finely minced shallots. Shallots are kind of like a combination between a yellow onion and garlic together. It's very mild. I'll mix it up again until I get a medium thick paste. Mmm, smells so good. And now we're ready to add our pork. So pork can take on a variety of flavor profiles depending on the marinade as well as the different cuts. Growing up, we ate so much pork and my parents prepared it in so many different ways. For example, pork chop was my dad's favorite, so we would always make grilled pork. And then my mom really loved boneless pork butt, so she made tit ka, which is like this braised pork with eggs. Oh, it was, it was my favorite. But today we're gonna be using bone-in pork chops, which provides a lot of flavor due to the fat around the bone. When you grill it, it's gonna get nice and juicy. Mm. I'm gonna add the chops to the marinade, making sure I cover each side with this delicious sauce. For our quick weeknight meal, I would let this marinate for about 30 minutes, but if you have more time, go ahead and let it marinate overnight because it'll really develop the flavors. It's been 30 minutes and our pork is ready to grill. I have my grill pan here, let it get nice and hot, and then I'll grill my pork chops one at a time. I'll let the pork cook for about five minutes on one side, flip it over, and then I'll insert my thermometer. I always get asked about food safety, how long you should cook your meat for, and all that. So today, I'm actually gonna be using this Weber iGrill 2 thermometer. This is an app and Bluetooth thermometer that allows me to monitor the doneness of the meat from beginning to end. Pork whole muscle cuts like loin rows, pork chops, and tenderloin should be cooked to an internal temperature of 145 degrees Fahrenheit, followed by a three minute rest. Then it notifies me on my phone once the meat has reached the perfect temperature. So pork is quick and easy to cook when it's done properly. It's also an excellent source of nutrients. Our pork chop is done. And I forgot to mention earlier that same marinade can be used for pork tenderloin, boneless pork butt if you wanted to make like bung thit nung on the skewer. The same marinade works. But today I'm gonna be preparing a rice plate. This is something you'd find at a Vietnamese deli. It's called gom ye and as with all Vietnamese food, there's a lot of fresh herbs and just vegetables that go along with it and super colorful too. So I'm gonna show you how to build this beautiful rice plate. First, I have 
two lettuce leaves, green. I'm just gonna lay it down. I love making food art, so this is kind of like my thing. And then I'm gonna layer the vegetables. I have tomatoes and cucumbers on the side. And then some pickled daikon and carrots. I like getting a generous amount. Put it right here. And because this is our rice plate, I have some white rice that I'm gonna line right here. Piping hot. And finally, our piece de resistance. Our Vietnamese grilled pork. I've let it rest for three minutes so that inside the juice could redistribute. But wait you guys, we're not done. This is when I like to add my black peppers, just sprinkle it on top. And then I made a green onion relish, which is basically just green onions, a little bit of salt, sugar, and oil that I put into the microwave to kind of melt. And then we're just gonna spoon some right on top like that. A little on the rice is really good too. And then a lot of restaurants also serve this with some fish sauce dipping sauce, which I would put right here, but I don't like the excess uh, saltiness since I marinated this to perfection. Let's go ahead and dig in. Got a nice piece right here. nice caramelized crust from the lemongrass, the shallots, and then the thick soy sauce from the molasses. Like I said, it gives it that little bit of a smoky flavor. Oh, if you guys have never tried this Vietnamese grilled pork before, I highly suggest it. And also pork is another meat that you don't often think about to barbecue in the summer. Try it you guys and let me know what you think. Comment below and also let me know what other weeknight meals you'd like to see and I will go ahead and make a video on it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.